Hey guys, this is Rainbow Heart again. So, I need to talk to everybody about what happened yesterday. So yesterday I've noticed that a lot of people have only been watching about a minute and 28 seconds of each video that I put up. You guys need to watch the whole video in order for you to get the whole story, first and foremost. Yesterday I came in angry, and yes, I will admit that I was angry, but it was not directed at age regressors. People seem to be giving me a lot of hate and flack about that and have been saying that, oh, well, because you're not a part of the age regressor community, you have no say in this and that. Okay, so since when does a person who is doing a product testing have to be a part of a certain community in order for them to actually give a review, number one, and number two, have to worry about the fact of the matter that... Uh, you guys could actually get hurt in the process. I care. I actually have on the horn with me my friend who's known me for a long period of time. His name is Dark. And he's going to let you guys know exactly what he thinks of me and what he knows of me when it comes to the LGBTQ community. So, Dark, would you mind telling everybody what you think of me and about the LGBTQ community and how I actually support them and stuff? essentially happened is they picked one side and give a, a, a lot of hate and flack. Right. And a crap mess about your side. And it's because of a lot of them having a very short attention span. And I know oh. that, you know, and it's nobody else's fault. It really isn't anybody's fault for having a short attention span. I know that you guys are wanting to get to the point of everything. If necessary, if you need to, why not just forward through the video to the parts where it actually shows the stuff that I was showing off? Because that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to show everybody what came inside of my box. I wasn't putting any hatred at all on the age regressors and for stating that I don't know anything about age regression I read first and foremost secondly I have family that actually do do up age regression one particular person is my cousin he has gone through a lot of stress and bullshit in his life I'm not going to go into great detail about it because it's not my place to share that with you guys. But he does do the age regression to help him deal with the anxiety and stress. Because that's what he does. And it does not bother me that he does that. I want my cousin to be okay. I want my cousin to be happy again. I want my cousin to be in that stasis and frame of mind to where it's like, hey, you know... I'm happy again. This is the person who you've known and grown up with. 
Why would I want to take that away from somebody? I wouldn't. Not now, not ever. The only placement where my anger was at was with the seller. Because the seller had purposefully, twice in a row, messed up my order. I even showed the box as proof of all the stuff that was actually freaking not pumpkin themed. That's what I was getting upset about. I was not getting upset at all about the age regression community. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with you guys. It has everything to do with me testing the product and wanting to make sure that that seller was a safe person to talk to for my cousin's sake. Because I worry on a daily basis about him. And, you know, he has come to me before. And I straight up stated, I wish that there were some, that there was someone out there who was willing to test the products and stuff like that and test these other sellers before I went and spent my hard earned money on them. So that way I could, you know, keep getting the age regress, regression stuff. Okay. That's what I worry about. That's my primary concern is for him. That's what I'm caring about. Since that person was very rude to me specifically, all because I gave them a one star review, one star, they decided to go off, call me a liar and straight up flat out be extremely rude and accuse me of taking stuff out of my box and put in other stuff from other boxes. What other boxes? If I've only ever ordered two boxes from this person, then why in the world would you be saying something like that first and foremost? And why in the world would you actually freaking call me a liar and accuse me of something like that when I didn't even open the box until I got home? That person needs to seriously own up to this shit and offer me an apology. I'm not looking for free stuff. I'm not looking for anything like that. I'm just wanting the person to get the order right inside of the first place. First and foremost, that's the first thing that I want. The second thing is, I want a public apology and that's it. That's all I want. I'm not asking for free stuff. And this person is accusing me of asking for free stuff. And I'm not. Okay? Dark, do you want to weigh in on this or are we good? No, I... I uh, honestly, if, if, if I went any further on this, it, it, it probably would not be good, so... <laughs> So you then you're just as equally as upset as I am then because this person had messed up my order twice and was being really rude to me. No. Yeah. I mean, like, like, I want to point out that after you showed me this person, the seller, and I went and looked at their stuff, uh, none. And, and I want other people know and understand this that how is it that every single picture you are showing on your page and I'm saying specifically I'll, I'll specifically say Instagram how do you have 14 to 15 items because believe me I was counting in just about every single box and yours seem to have anywhere between have. 8 and 10 or like with the first box there was only 3 items in there and they were claiming that there was other stuff that was in there when there really wasn't anything else in there they straight up stated that there was a sippy cup a bottle and 
uh, a freaking uh, few bracelets that were in there that were uh, purple colored. And when I got the stuff, I even got up on cam with you and showed you the stuff that I had got. Right. And you saw, you saw that there was only three items in there. You saw the Paw Patrol coloring book. You saw the box of crayons. And then you saw the baby pacifier. And I had told you that that particular box was the box that was supposed to be the royalty gender neutral box. How is Paw Patrol gender neutral when it's geared towards little boys? How is a coloring, uh, how is a, not a coloring book, but a, a box of crayons gender neutral when there's no gender neutral colors in there? That's what I'm specifically driving at with that. And then finally, how in the world is a blue baby's pacifier that has a truck on it gender neutral? That's not gender neutral. The person obviously doesn't understand what gender neutral means. Gender neutral means that you just do a specific color that the person wants and it's pastel, first and foremost. Secondly, there's no other little images on it. That's gender neutral. You could do you could do cutesy stuff, you know, like little duckies or or like uh, little bumblebees or anything like that because that could be gender neutral. You know, same thing with little piggies or anything like that. Animals are gender neutral because you 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 can't pick and choose who gets what. But when you do stuff that is actually specifically geared towards a specific gender, like trucks and flowers, those are geared towards boys and girls, specifically. Right. That's what I've been talking about. That's what I'm complaining about. I'm complaining about the fact of the matter that I was unhappy with both of the boxes. And this person has been taking it way out of context and has been saying that I'm the liar when they've been the one who's the liar. Right. I do unboxings all the time. And if something was wrong with whatever I got inside of there, I'm, I'm surely not going to be, for example, mad at comic book collectors, I'm going to be mad specifically at that seller. See? <laughs> this is exactly what I've been trying to derive at with everybody. My anger is not placed towards anybody who's in the LGBTQ community. Because I'm one of the biggest supporters out there. Okay? I really freaking am. To be brutally honest, I'm a demisexual. What a demisexual is, is a person who cannot have an intimate relationship with somebody unless if they know that person on a emotional, mental, and spiritual level. That's what that means. And demisexuals are a part of the LGBTQ community. So a little bit more about me. So, I'm going to straight up state this right now. <laughs> yeah, mic drop. <laughs> As Darka did. So, mm. this video is like going on for a bit. Uh, we're almost uh, going to be getting into the 15 minute mark. I am urging you to watch this whole freaking video. Because if you don't watch the whole video, you're not going to know the whole story. And I'm tired of people only watching just a minute and 28 seconds of the video. And then they're like instantaneously like being like, oh, well, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. Because this person doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm also going to straight up state this right now. The stuff that I've been sharing with you guys about the whole age regression thingy. I am correct on that. 
and saying what I had said about it yesterday. That it is where you put yourself into that stasis and frame of mind of the memories that you had had back when you were younger. Because it's on a psychologist's website. Big shocker there. So yeah. I know what I'm freaking talking about when it comes to this fucking shit, okay? So, yeah. We got the way in with Dark. I got this set up. I got everything out. Hopefully, you guys will actually watch this whole video and will understand that my anger is not towards anyone in the LGBTQ community. It's not. It's with that seller. And I'm still going to straight up state this. Avoid puppy playpen like the plague. I'm meaning that to the fullest extent. Do not buy from them. It's a trap! Seriously! I'm cutting it now. This is Rainbow Heart signing out. And Dark. Peace, you guys.